In my previous video, we did the open DRT and I showed you how to use it. I've had a few questions about the color management for that. So I thought I'd quickly go through it today. We have our first node here and this is in our clip level. So what we want to do as always, we want to do a CST. So come up to effects. Now I know this footage here is red footage. So what we can do is come to our color space transform, put it on here, input color space. We're going to go to red wide gamut input. We're going to go to red log G310 Vinci wide gamut, Vinci intermediate. And we can put this as none. The next part is a little bit confusing for people, which is understandable because open DRT is essentially a new ODT that we're working with. So what we're going to do, it's the same as using a color space transform to do your last node. So what I mean by that is we're going to add a bunch of nodes here. Now we're going to put out open DRT at the end here. So what essentially you're going to be doing is grading in between your first node, which is your color space transform. Then for our ODT, we would use that open DRT. So we'll come up to our little library here, type in DCTL and then go to open DRT. We want to make sure this is all correct because we did our output color space to inch wide gamut, output gamma to inch intermediate. We want to make sure that's correct. So input gamma to inch wide gamut, input device transfer function to inch intermediate. Our look preset, we're just going to keep this as normal today. We did a video about this, so I'll leave a link up here somewhere. Well, there'll be the notes where you can read all about it and actually watch the video. It's really interesting. It's going to show you what an amazing open DRT this is or what amazing DCTL this is. And it's really going to help you with your grading process. Now, if you're getting some weird results when you're doing your color management in your nodes, that may be because you have color management already set up in your project settings. So quickly go down to our project settings here, little cog, and then under color management, these are my settings when it comes to my color management when I'm working with nodes. So you don't wanna be on DaVinci YRGB color manage. That is saying that DaVinci Resolve is essentially going to color manage your nodes for you. We wanna be doing this one, it just works a lot easier because we're working in a wider color space. So if you're getting some funky results, just make sure your color space transform settings are properly set up in your color management. Now, a lot of questions are about, should I put this on the timeline level or the clip level? Now, it doesn't particularly matter where you put it on timeline or clip. All that matters is that it's the last node when it comes to your node pipeline. Now, there are cases where it won't be your last node, but that's a far more technical discussion. Today, we're just gonna keep it really simple. Because this is last in our clip timeline here, sorry, our clip node structure, here, it's completely fine. So what we could do, because we also know this is red, we could just copy them across. And as you can see, we're already sitting at a really nice place with our clips here. Now, if you wanted to put this in your timeline, it's also very simple. So I'm just gonna delete, actually, let's copy this note by pressing Control C and delete it. And then we'll delete, I'm gonna leave this one set. So we'd come up to our timeline here. So what does timeline mean? It means that this node here is the last node, no matter what, when it comes to your nodes. Okay, so if I were to paste this on here, we're getting the same results. That's because it's sitting last in our node pipeline here. So if we go back to clip, because we've deleted that, it's no longer there. But even though this looks like it's at the front, we can put it up here, it doesn't matter. This node is always last when it comes to your node pipeline here. So that's something that's really important to remember. So it doesn't matter where you put it. I mean, you can put it anywhere. Essentially, it doesn't matter. What matters is that this is the last one when it comes to your node structure. Now, because we've added it, in our timeline, that's essentially added this node here to every single clip in our media pool here. So we go across to our other clip here. As you can see, what is going on here is we'll have a double transform because this one still has the open DRT on. So we want to delete that one. And the same with this one here. This clip here is working off our timeline clip here. Now there is another way that you can actually do this, but for now, I mean, if that's all you need to know, that's basically it when it comes to your color space transform, working with that open DRT. We have our color space transform settings here for our camera. And then we have our OD here, ODT here, sorry, for our open DRT. Basically, this will be our color space transform Form. We could even call it color space transform. So instead of using a color space transform, we're using the open DRT, but it's exactly the same thing. So you don't need to do another color space transform. This is working as your color space transform. Like I said, there is a different way you could do this. You could actually put these into groups. Now, because I know this is all ARRI footage, let's say you wanted to, for whatever reason, work off your clip level, not your timeline level. So let's go back to our clip level here. Now, because this doesn't have that open DRT on, we need to put it back on. Okay, so we now have it back on. Again, let's say that you didn't want to put this in your timeline. You wanted this to be in your clip level, but you don't want to go across and add it to every single one because these ones are actually different. This is ARRI footage and this is red footage. Well, what you can do here is you 
can actually put them in groups. So we're going to highlight all these and I'm going to go to add into new group and I'm going to call it Ari. Now what happens is with these clips here, if we come up to these four dots, so we have our pre one, which means that it is before everything that is in our clip level here. And then we have our post one, which is everything after our clip level here. Then we have our timeline one. Even though these clips are in a group, if I were to put this open DRT on and then go back to my other clips here, we still have that double transfer. Timeline basically supersedes everything, meaning that whatever we put on this timeline, it goes to every single clip, let's say edit down here. So that's something to take into account. So but what you can do is we can just reset this, come back to our clips here and we'll go to our post clip. If I were to put this open DRT onto this clip here. Now, because it's in a group, well, because it's a part of a group, we go to all these other clips, it has it on. So if you wanted to work, let's say these ones in a clip base color management, but you wanted these ones for whatever reason not to do that, you could simply highlight them all, chuck them into a group and then put your open DRT or your color space transform, doesn't really matter, into your group post clip. And then that's gonna put it onto all your clips here. So that means you don't have to go across and copy them all over. So I hope that helps. I hope that clears it up when it comes to the color management for the open DRT. And again, like I said, it's a really great free DCTL. So make sure to check it out. I have a link below where you can watch the video or there'll be, you know, some things popping up every now and again. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great weekend. I've been Drew Haiti Films and thanks again for watching.